Hello friends, welcome to the vlog. This is episode one of one. Today I'm taking you on what my typical Saturday looks like. My name is Nick Rostopchin and I'm a realtor right here in St. George. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future videos. Today, we're going to go and check out the status of our duplex that should be all finished and cleaned. And we have several applications for both units. So that is right on track. After that, we're going to set up this radon meter for one of our clients that has a property under contract. And we're going to drop off two sets of keys for the properties that we closed. We're also going to swing by and check on the status of our Spax and Dixie Springs. What else? Am I missing anything out? Oh, and Michonne Nixana may be joining us for a ride along. Let's go. It's a bring your kids to work day. Well, bring your wife and kids. Well, wife is a business partner. I guess just bring your kids to work day. Michonne and Nixana are joining us to run these errands. How's mom life? It is great, and I can't help but sit back here so that I can watch her, so. One of us is being chauffeured. If I'm driving, he's back here with her. Here, we'll take a look at her. Hey, cutie. How's she feel about going to work? She absolutely loves car rides. It's her favorite thing. When we stop at the stoplight stop sign, she'll get fussy, and the second we go, she's loving it, loving Let's life. Roll. just arrived at the lofts at Green Valley. Uh, we helped one of our clients purchase here a few years ago and we have since helped them sell two of these units. So we're just dropping off some keys. I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek of what some of the best Airbnb properties in Southern Utah look like right now. This property is 2000 square feet. It has four bedrooms, four, no, three and a half bathrooms and two floors and it has a pool. This has been a great investment property for our client that just sold it. This one's actually closing Monday, um, but they decided to uh, reinvest some of their funds into some other properties. So now uh, new owners get to enjoy this property as well as the rents that it brings. Check it out. It is a pretty cool place. It has a pretty open floor plan, each bedroom, has its own HVAC unit and it is really, really close to the pool. It's like literally walking distance. Oh, that screen fell off. I have to fix some things before I take off. I'm just here to drop off the keys so that when we close, the buyers will be able to just access it and have the keys that are available for uh, all the nukes and crannies and closets and owner's closets. Take a look at that. I won't bore you guys too much with a tour of this property. I'll just pop into the upper level. Really can't see stuff in glasses anymore. Zoom on vibes. Check out the light fixture. These units are pretty new. They were built in 2018, so some really nice modern touches. And they're super cozy to stay in. No. Can you uh, see that? This, this room has its own balcony and an ensuite as well. After helping our clients buy these units and managing them for a few years, I feel like I'm somewhat attached to it. So I guess this is goodbye. This is the last time that I'll be in this unit. I'll never say never. Goodbye loft. We are now at the duplex and you guys have seen plenty of unit B, which is this unit here. Unit A is the one that was still getting finished and cleaned. And I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of this unit. It's a little different. It's strange that um, from a bird's eye perspective, the building is symmetrical, but this floor plan is totally different from the other floor plan. 
Michon and I jumped into real estate investing just a short while ago and we've obtained a few properties and this was one of our most recent projects. The remodel is complete and we already have several applications for both units, but this was a total gut. Brand new cabinets, brand new countertops, brand new appliances. Check it out. This unit actually has a pretty sweet kitchen. There's a pantry. My guys did a killer job on this remodel. New light fixtures. Massive living room. You even have a skylight up there. The garage also has a skylight and even the garage got repainted. This was kind of a lucky purchase for us because it's getting really hard to find things in St. George that make financial sense from an investment standpoint. Uh, but freshening this unit up made a huge difference. I picked out these light fixtures, huge fan. They were also consequently on clearance. You don't really hear the word clearance in 2022. <laughs> This unit has in-unit laundry. And this is the two bed, two bath unit. So there's a hallway bath right here. This bath got a whole new vanity. And we even included a little backsplash with this one. Nice large mirror, new light fixture here. This is the master suite, and this is the suite that doesn't have an ensuite. Windows need a little work still, and our window coverings are coming next week. And that is the master. Large vaulted ceilings in these units make them feel really nice and spacious. I love how modern this looks. This building was built in 1990s, and it was definitely a due for a remodel. Check out that vanity. It's a sweet looking vanity. What do you guys think? Would you like to see a before and after video of this? I've been taking some notes, life's been crazy, but I think we may upload a before and after and the numbers on this deal, so stay tuned. We are now in Shooting Star to drop off this guy. It is a red on meter. Radon gas can be really dangerous, and fortunately enough, it is a heavy gas, and Southern Utah is not conducive to building homes with basements because it is so hard to excavate down, and it's much easier to build a two-story or walk-out basement. But reasonably, one of our clients is a little bit concerned with radon levels, so we're going to drop this guy off and measure radon levels in this new construction behind me so that they can have a better idea and know exactly what they're getting themselves into. After sitting at my house for almost a month, you could see that the measurements is actually pretty negligible. We're going to reset this guy. Has a little reset button right here. And we're going to just set it here. It's going to recalibrate itself. And we'll be back to check and see how it does a couple of days later. Should give us a pretty good idea. By the way, Shooting Star, the neighborhood that we're currently in, is absolutely incredible. We've helped quite a few folks buy homes here. And if you're curious about what this home looks like, you can see a video of a tour that I posted a couple of days ago. I'll probably link it somewhere up here. Well, our Saturday is finally over. We're just winding down. Mashon is feeding Oksana. The boys are rustling around. We're in our backyard right now. And I'm just curious to know, what do you guys think about this style of content? Do you like it? Did you find it entertaining? Are you still watching this video? If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Drop us a comment below. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one.